Shalom. It's another late night for me. Does anybody else feel like we're trying to cram all this effort in every day? Reading, learning, worshiping, praising, just you know, praying in the spirits. Because we just, you just feel on that urgency. You know what I mean. You just, feel, you just feel the urgency. I mean, look, look at the world right now. Look at the, you know, look at the news. Look at the world. Look at, look, look at what's happening. I mean, he is on his way. He is on his way. And the closer that we, we draw to him, the closer we, we, the more that we rely on him and have him guide us and. Just lean on him for, you know, understanding and strength and healing and just everything. The bigger the target is going to be on our backs. Because I'm getting attacked every day. Some days are more more than others. And I have to shake it off. Just like I'm sure you, you guys are shaking it off. You know, you got to shake it off. You got to shake that devil off. So, I'm going to read Psalms 91. It's a powerful prayer. It's a prayer of protection. It's another one that, you know, I feel everybody should be familiar with and read, especially if you're having a day, having a day getting attacked by spirits, by demons. Because remember, they're all around us. They're, you know, they're all around us. Not only do we have the, the, um, the you know the the fallen angels that procreated and those spirits have you know taken taken hold of people you know some people aren't even people you got to remember not every not everything's what it seems and then you know we have, we have our friends and our family and, and our neighbors and you know people around us they're walking with spirits they're walking with things that they they're unaware of but you have to remember that it's spirits, not people. Do not hate anybody. Don't take anything personal. The devil wants you to react. The devil wants you to react. Because as soon as you start reacting, you're letting things in. And that's what he wants. You're opening doorways, you're opening up portals, you're, you're opening up, you're inviting darkness in if you react. So do not react, pray. Pray instead, pray instead. All right. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a little a little explanation of how how powerful this prayer is. Like he 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 gave it to me in a vision. Like I I you know my sister gave me this 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 prayer. You know it's a prayer that I I you know I kind of knew of, but like I had a morning. This is probably about, uh, I don't know, a week ago, week and a half ago. There's been stuff unfolding for me every single day. I've been learning. I've been, he's been instructing me. He's been correcting me. That's another thing. Like a father does, he will correct us. You have to receive that. Do not fight the correction. It's for our own good. So remember that. Remember that. Like just take heed to his to his warnings, take heed to his lessons, take heed to his instructions. Just pray that you know, pray that he ups your belief, pray that he strengthens you, pray that you know, just pray for everything. You know, pray in the spirit. Pray, you know, pray, just just pray. Pray for everything. Go to him for everything. He will never, ever, ever lead you astray. It's the world. The world will lead you astray. That's that's what will that's who will leave you that lead you astray. The world will. And the devil takes on many shapes and forms, entities, in our friends, in our family, in our neighbors, in our coworkers. Like, it's all around us. Don't but don't let that get to you. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. 
Cause like there's like I said, you're you're inviting things in if you react, if you if you get too scared, if you get too worried, if you get too sad, if you get too angry, you're you're opening up doorways, you're opening up things if you react. So do not react. I'm telling you right now, do not react. Instead pray or reach out to you know a fellow brother or sister. Reach out in the comments here. Reach out reach out if you need to. There's always you know, there's 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 someone that you know that will listen that'll be here that'll pray with you that'll pray for you like I'll pray for you I'll you know I'll I'm happy to listen so don't ever feel like you're alone because this this path is narrow and it can it could feel tiresome it could feel lonely it could feel you know like you know the whole world is against us but that's how it's supposed to feel it's not supposed to be easy but trust me this narrow path is gonna is a lot easier than being off the path and dealing with dealing with Yahweh's wrath later. Like that's what we don't want. That's what you don't want. So stay strong. Stay strong. So when my mom and my sister they come in fellowship, sometimes they stay stay over and they I let them stay in my room. You know, and I sleep on the couch. Well, I have a lot of activity in my building, or I, I did. I, you know, I, I pray, been praying and praying and praying ever since I woke up. And things are definitely getting more cleansed and more cleansed and more cleansed. But it's been a battle. I'm telling you right now, it's been a battlefield. It's been a battlefield. My, my daily life has been a battlefield. Like, and that's when you know that you, you're doing something right. If you're getting attacked, don't, don't let that, don't let that weaken you don't let that bring you down don't let that have you go backwards do not look backwards do not go backwards do not become a pillar of salt do not so anyway i'm on my couch and it's you know i'm sleeping out there it's this isn't even the first time i've been waking up by like noises and disturbances and stuff but this this morning this morning stood out this morning was different this morning this morning was different. So I'm sleeping and I wake up to what I thought was like this like thundering stomping. But I'm like half awake. And I'm not hearing anything. But I knew that something woke me up. So you know, I close my eyes because it's not even it's not even 5 in the morning. And I'm still awake though because you know I I can't I'm not someone that can just fall right back asleep I've never been that way. Like y'all are blessed if you can just like easily fall asleep like that's not me. So I close my eyes and I'm still you know I'm still awake. And as soon as I close my eyes, the the loudest stomping I've ever heard in my entire life like put put your two feet together and imagine that be like one leg like imagine a giant imagine a giant it sounded like a giant was above me stomping around above me because I live in a sixplex and I'm always getting all kinds of activity from upstairs like I don't know if you heard if you like watch my testimony you remember that, like, when I was watching the, the Jezebel video, how my neighbors started, like, you know, doing stuff, and it's just like, I pray for, I pray for everybody, I pray for them, I pray for everybody. And so, you know, we get that, you know, like, you get that gift of discernment, so we know when people are being tormented. You gotta remember, it's, it's spirits, not flesh. Do not hate your neighbor, do not hate your, your relative, do not hate your friend, don't, don't hate no stranger, do not do that. He does not want that. Save the wrath for him. He he is gonna avenge us. He is gonna avenge us. He's gonna he's gonna do all that. So you don't gotta be doing all that. Don't go look backwards at being you know all the all the times that you know our ancestors were oppressed, because I like I know I'm light skinned, but I'm mostly Native American, and let me tell you, I know I know I know I know the horrors that you know that we've you know our peoples have went through. I know. So don't even anyway. So the loudest stomping, the loudest stomping, like I thought, I thought for sure there was like, that wasn't, that had to be a giant. It, it sounded like, the, it sounded so thunderous and so loud. 
Like I thought the person, I thought I thought they were gonna come right through the ceiling. I thought they were just gonna come right right through. Cause I was like, it just sounded like there's. I mean, I was watching the ceiling shaking. Like I like I was just like, there's no way. Whatever. It just sounded like it just sounded like this building could not even be holding up that noise. Like like it like like it was just like the ceiling was just gonna give way. That's how loud it was. And you know, I was just more like you know at this point I'm I was I'm very strengthened in you know, in him and you know putting on the full armor. Like I'm telling you guys, get familiar with the full armor. Like that is a serious thing. Like put on the armor every day. Put it on. Put it on as much as you need to. Between the armor and this 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 pair that I'm, I'm gonna be praying, like they are powerful. They are powerful. He has given us everything we need to battle the things that are going around us you know besides his him already protecting us besides angels being around that we can't see but you know strengthen yourself do you know do it even more just because he's protecting us doesn't mean you can't go out and like save save some more protection you know prayers on yourself on your on your loved ones so you know i'm i'm not scared more like i'm just staring at the ceiling like what the heck you know, I started praying, you know, I started praying in tongues, I started praying, like, and I'm just like, basically, I'm just like paying attention, I get right by the couch, I'm standing up, I'm looking at the ceiling, I'm just staring, and you remember, my my mom and my sister are, asleep, are in my bedroom, they're sleeping in there, so I, I walked down the hallway to see if the noise is like, woke them up, because I was like, there's no way they couldn't have heard that, but no, they were sleeping, they didn't hear nothing, so I kind of felt like all like, weird, and got out of the room, because I didn't want to wake them up and have them like, be freaked out by me being in there. So I started like, you know, walking around, just listening to the different areas of, you know, my apartment because I have a two bedroom, it's a two bedroom. And, and the, you know, the noise kind of, you know, it settled down, it settled down. And I go back into the living room and he just, and, and the apartment above me, I know what it looks like because that's a whole different situation. That was a weird situation. One time a neighbor came down and he was drunk, but you can just tell that it was not him and it was just anyway, that's a whole different that's a whole different situation. But because of that situation, I, I know what his place looks like. And he has carpet up there. And so I'm in my living room and I'm looking up the ceiling, still kind of like listening and paying attention to stuff. And the stopping stops, but then the scraping, this loud, just claw like scraping just started just going right above right above me like along the wall like just because i was like it sounded like the floor but like like i said there's carpet his floor is carpet up there and the sound that like how the scraping sounded it was just like it just didn't sound like it could have even been possible from the, on the carpet so I was like it made me think of the wall it sounded like it must have been from the wall then whatever it was it was like it was like claw like scraping so then that happened and i'm just like wow like you, you know Demon showing his face right now. It's showing itself right now. It's showing itself right now. That's for sure. That's for sure. And eventually that stops. And I'm like, you know, I'm like, just like, okay. You know, I get back on the couch. And I lay back down. And so I look out, you know, before I, before I lay down, I looked out the window to see if my, if their car was home. And it wasn't. So, they weren't home. And normally, when they're out that late, they're all you know. It's a guy and a a, a woman and a, and a man, and they're usually they always leave together. Like he he DJ, he DJs at a bar, they're always partying and stuff, and they're usually always together. And their their car was gone while this while this was happening. And um, so anyway, I lay back down, and because everything got quiet. And while I'm while I'm laying there, um, one of the neighbors from upstairs, across from their unit, she comes down and she's crying, and she leaves. And and then they get home, and they go upstairs, and there's all kinds of noise up there, like just like it sounded like people wrestling. There was so much noise going on up there as soon as they got up there. Because they have a pit bull dog. And you can hear the dog like running back and forth. You can just hear that, you know, that... You can just hear like, you know, you can just tell like that, that was an animal running. You know, unless 
I mean, I, I can't imagine it was them making that noise, so I'm just going to assume that was the dog. So all that was going on. And while I'm watching the ceiling, because there's just so much noise, there's just no way I could fall asleep. So I'm just kind of like, I'm just like, I'm just, I'm just observing at this point. Just like, yeah, okay, you know, you got my attention, double. <laughs> and uh, while I'm watching the ceiling, I'm like, I, I kid you not. I'm not even, this, uh, this is, I'm serious. While I'm watching the ceiling, with all that like commotion, sounded like it was like fighting, wrestling. You know, I could hear the lady yelling at the dog, telling it to stop and get down, and like the dog was like reacting to something or just like I don't know. You could just it was just like so much noise, right? And while I'm watching the ceiling, there's this black spot, a black spot appeared. Right before my eyes, on my ceiling, and it's slowly starting to get bigger and bigger and bigger. And I'm like blinking, like shaking my head, like, "Am I? Is that for real? Am I seeing that? Is that? Is that? Is that real? Am I really seeing this?" And I'm like rubbing my eyes, and I'm like, you know, like, "Am I just tired? Am I just like?" Because when you like when you visually see something, when he shows you something, when you when you're actually dis discerning to where you're like. Just seeing it, like physically manifesting, it's something else. I tell you what, it's something else. And this this black this black circle started to get bigger and bigger and bigger, slowly, slowly getting bigger. And I started praying, you know, I started praying in tongues, you know, and I switched from tongues to English. And I started to just rebuke. I just started to rebuke, rebuke that, rebuke that spirit, whatever it was. Yeah, in the name of Yahusha, you know, bind it up, loose it up, cast it out, prohibit it, you know, all that. And as I as I'm doing that, it starts to shrink. It starts to shrink. As I'm praying, as I'm renouncing that that you know that that darkness, that what you know whatever that was, because it, it it's it's just felt like with their with their fighting and yelling and that negativity, it's almost like that was manifesting right there and coming down, like coming through. And that should tell you something. That should tell you something right there. But I'm praying and I, you know I'm renouncing stuff and it, it you know it sh it just gets slow it slowly starts to get smaller and smaller then it goes away. And I was like wow, like thank you Father, thank you Father for just you know equipping me with the you know just giving me the wisdom and giving me the just you know moving through me with the ruach and it just is such an awesome thing to have him be able to just you know give you that discernment and give you that wisdom and give you that knowledge and give you that strength and give you that power because that is that's what it is we are we are powerful when we have him so i'm you know, and they they eventually like calm down and stuff, and I'm I'm awake, but I close my eyes, and as soon as I do, it's like I I see this like like Y shaped bookcase, like a giant. Like a giant, giant, giant Y. And I'm not talking like the Y that has like the the standard like English letter Y. I'm talking about like the, I'm talking about like the, you know, the, the Hebrew Y. That has the rounded, the rounded top. It was like that. And it was like this like, and I, and it was like, hollowed out and it was full of books so it was like a library inside this in, inside this letter inside inside this letter Y it was like a it, it just looked like a library of books it was like a it was like a bookshelf right and I see it tip it tips forwards and a book falls out 
and when it falls out and it, it lands, it opens up. And as soon as it opens up, like I know that it's Psalms. I know it's the book of Psalms. And I just see this giant 91, like overtook the whole entire vision, the whole entire like 9-1. <laughs> Isn't that something? That's how amazing he is. So here we go. Psalms 91. He that dwells in the secret place of El Elyon shall abide under the shadow of El Shaddai. I will say of Iawa, He is my refuge and my fortress, my Elohim. In him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover you with his feathers, and under his wings shall you trust. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flies by day, nor for the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor for the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand shall fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand but it shall not come nigh you only with your eyes shall you behold and see the reward of the wicked because you have made Yahweh which is my refuge even El Elyon your habitation there shall no evil befall you neither shall any plague come nigh your dwelling for he shall give his angels charge over you to guard you in all your ways. They shall bear you up in their hands, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon shall you trample under feet. Because he has set his love upon me, Therefore will I deliver him, I will set him on high, because he has known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble, I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my Yeshua. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. We give all the praise and glory to our Father, the Most High, Alpha and Omega, the creator of everything, the healer, the doctor. <laughs> he, is, he is everything. He deserves all praise and glory. I give him thanks, give him thanks and thanks and thanks. I thank him for Yosha and his sacrifice that he took on the curse so we may receive the blessing so that we may be forgiven for all the sins, past, present, and future. Isn't that awesome? How awesome is that? Amen? How awesome, how awesome. He is mighty and powerful and, you know, deserving all praise. We should fear Him. We should honor Him. We should respect Him. We should glorify Him. Every day and everything that we do, we should be giving thanks and praying and praying and praying. Do not fear for the things that are unfolding, the revelations that are unfolding. Do not fear because he is with us. He has his, you know, he has his angels protecting us. They are with us. So stay on the narrow path, stay strong. My brothers and sisters, stay strong. You are not alone. You have never been alone. He is always with us. He will never forsake us. Hallelujah. And I'm just praying for you. I'm praying for the whole world. I'm praying for the whole world to wake up. Praying for the whole world to wake up. 
be be the light in the darkness do not go out in hating do not go out in judging be full of love save the judgment for him save the wrath for him save the hate for him save the anger for him he will deal with it it's not for us to deal with all right i'm gonna wrap this up i'm sorry that i haven't been posting i had some dental work done and uh some doctor's appointments that's so just some some things going on but and i've also been having some you know days full of full of attacks that you know kind of get to me but i you know gotta I shake it right off so just remember to just you know fall back on him in your times of need he will take care of you he is with you and he is on his way. He is on his way. We are in the end end days here. Maybe it's not today. Maybe it's not tomorrow. Maybe it's not a month. Maybe it's not a year. But we can feel it. We can see it. And we, we, like, oh, man. It gives me, it just gives me, like, oh, it gives me goosebumps. Looking around and seeing, just seeing him working and everything he's doing right now. The earthquakes, the tornadoes, the floods, the pestilence, the plagues, what's going on with the sun right now. Like, everywhere you look, there he is, doing, doing what he said he is going to do. So, I know that we're feeling the urgency and we you know we have a lot of loved ones that we are trying to reach out to and have, you know, have them know him but remember houses will be divided hearts will be hardened people will there will be ones that will depart from the faith do not let do not let that bring you down and do not let that pull you off of your path just like you know you know like when you know when someone's when someone's drowning and you go to help them and they end up just like climbing on you and pulling you down to save themselves just be careful love from a distance minister share pray but if that you know if they if they don't want to hear it they don't want to hear it it's not our jobs to save people we're only here to bring truth and light. We're not here to judge. We're not here to convince. Everybody has their free will. So just continue to stay strong. I love you all. Until next time. May may he may he protect you and keep you and you know you all just stay safe stay blessed